and now we're going to talk about uh, user roles and permissions. Now, this is, um, I guess, project sp specific. So, if we're good, like straight away, <coughs> um, what I want to do is I want to go into people. Um, where is it? Where are the people uh, account setting settings? And now, um, <coughs> basically, want to um, go over this registration and cancellation. Particularly for this project, I do not want um, users to be able to create their own um, create their own accounts. So right now, I'm going to select administ you know administrator only, um, and I'm gonna you know when canceling someone's account, obviously, yep, enable signatures. Eh, don't really need to do that. Pictures, don't, we don't really need to do that. And if you want to, you can customize all the emails that happen um, with the account creation. But number one, I don't want people to be able to create an account. Um, I want this to be locked down to internal staff only. I guess later on you could make it so that you know there could be paid access and grant them a, a certain role, whatever. Um, but uh, for now, that's what we're doing. So we're gonna go into uh, people, and we can just see that I'm the only person here, and that's fine. Um, and we want to go into um, roles. And we want to add a new role, and because um, we're making a real estate site, um, we want to be able for uh, particular agents um, to manage properties, right? So I'm gonna, just going to say agent. You know, I'm going to create a new role. I'm going to add the role, um, and then I'm going to go to the permissions, and basically, um, what uh, give them permission to what I want them to be able to do. Um, so if you know view comments, po post comments, yeah, like yeah, there's there's a quite a quite a few system settings, and because we haven't really set it up, um, we haven't uh, we haven't really got anything to you know create um, right now. So um, yeah, you search, why not? The, the permission system is where you kind of lock off um, functions for the user. So right now, with I'm just going to save those permissions. But generally, um, <coughs> any any um, person that's actually on the site, other than administrator, um, who can do anything, um, are going to be locked down to a certain amount of functions so that they don't mess with the core feature or functions and features of Drupal. So again, we'll be coming back to the permissions page a little bit later when we have a permission that we actually want to grant them and when we create some more users. So I'm going to go to people and straight away I'm just going to add a couple of users um, for testing purposes. So I'm just going to click add user and my username is going to be Bob and my email is going to be Bob at Bob.com, whatever, it's not a real user. My password is going to be Bob. And Bob <coughs> and the status and I'm going to grant them the role of an agent and now that I've created Bob I'm going to Jane I'm going to create another one Jane at Jane whatever their email is is a, a strictly for test testing the uh, the the permissions that we set up okay so anyway now, now that we have our test people, we can log in and see what access that they have to it. All right. Um, so that's user. So that's how do you how you create it a new user? Just that one admin can create a new user. Pretty you know pretty stock standard stuff. Um, but let, let's um, actually do something. So let's make something. So we're gonna make um, a web form. We're gonna make a contact page. So this is just a contact us page. So we're gonna talk about the web form module, um, what it can do, and how it can help you. So I'm just gonna to go to content, add content, web form, and I'm gonna say contact us. Yeah. See, I've done these before, and then we can have. Um, I'm gonna go to full text, full HTML, because I might want to pop some stuff in there. So summary, uh, hide summary. Don't really need it at the moment. So I'm just like, hello, 
pretty basic stuff. Contact us, provide a menu link. It's going to be contact us, it's going to be the main menu. Comments, I'm going to be closed. Author and publish option. I don't want it to be promoted to the publishing options. I don't want it to be promoted to the front page. We hit save. I'm going to view it. So here's my super cool contact us form. And now I want to go to web form. And I'm going to say, you know, name. And it's going to be text file. It's going to be mandatory. And we're going to roll on down. And we're going to say email. We want an email. It's going to be mandatory. Add. Roll on down. And I'm just going to say phone. But I'm not. It's going to be type text field. And I'm not going to tick mandatory because a lot of people don't like to use to post their phone number. And I'm going to say message. And I'm going to give that a text area. Probably should have ticked mandatory on that. Yes, I'm going to tick mandatory on that. And I'm going to save that. So now let's view it. Alright, so we got our name, email, phone, and message. And a little submit button. And now that we've created our web form, if I click submit, it's going to do our like basic validation for us. Um, <coughs> but, okay, that's all fine and good. But let's test the emails here. So right now it's not sending any email. So basically I want it to send one to our admin user. Um, you you know, you select put in a mail address, email address, hit add. Um, <coughs> email address is two. So you know, subject line, you can leave it as default or say new contact form, email, you know, whatever. Um, default from address, you can have it as your address um, because you're generally double opted, you know, you're whitelisted. Um, but you can go with um, component email so that when you click reply, um, it'll go to there. And you can also select from name, so the person's name in there. And the default Im um, email template is absolutely fine. Um, and the results of this user submission will be viewed at submission URL, which will give you a URL to it. Uh, but we'll just like to go if you are logged in. <laughs> yeah, can't spell today. Uh, logged in. All right. <clears throat> so we are going to roll on down there and save. And we'll go into form settings. And now this is where we can can set a configuration or a confirmations like you know thanks you will be contacted ASAP I, I don't know whatever you want to put in there you can change it to um, full HTML throw in images whatever you want to do or you could redirect um, the page to a custom URL um, but right now I'm going to leave it as blank because I don't have another custom URL set up in order to um, redirect them to. You can you, there's some general good values here that you can do. Um, submission access: Who can submit this um, full? So obviously authenticated anonymous users, uh, authenticated users, administrators, agents. You don't have to tick those because authenticated users will take over. Um, the permissions for these guys. Um, and then we can go into the advanced settings we really want to and submit button tests. We like con contact us now. And some super exclamation points. Uh, that's pretty stupid. I'm not doing that. And what we're going to do now uh, um, show, no show notifications of previously submitted submissions I'm not going to do that and if I wanted to have it in the block I could take that but I don't so that's fine <clears throat> all right so now we can go to view this this thing um, thanks will be you you will be contacted as soon as possible and now I just want to this um, there so I just want to move that in my primary menu so I'm going to go into menu, and I'm going to 
I'm going to go to main menu because that's what it is. I'm going to list links. I'm going to put that. I'm just going to drag that down there and hit save. And now when I go home, I can see that my contact us is down there. Or if you really wanted to, through here. Um, where is it? We can get, actually give it the weight. Um, you know, so that the heavier they, or the lighter they are, the close they will be to the top. But this contact tab, I want it to be at the end of this uh, of my menu. Okay, so that's you know creating a basic contact page. Obviously, there is a lot more things you can do with it. There's validation. You, there is um, spam issues that you have to consider, like which I recommend. Um, capture or honeypot modules um, to help lock this thing down. Also, you can see the 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 you know, submitted values. You can download the table. You can clear the results, um, so you have a good backup of of what um, you know what has been submitted through your contact form or whatever form that you are creating. Um, also, you can you know theme these things really nicely, and we'll get into that very soon. Because right now we're just using the default Drupal uh, theme. Okay.